Howdy. We are the 2019 Texas A&M University Drillbotics team. This video will serve as an overview of our rig design and instrumentation and how we plan to achieve the goal of directional drilling. Most of the rig design will remain the same from previous years, with our team choosing to focus on trajectory as the primary goal. We will first go over the mechanical aspects of the rig. The drilling rig is a steel welded structure that is 3.5 feet squared at its base and 8 feet tall. Wheels are attached to the bottom of each leg to increase mobility, which is especially important this year given the need to transport the rig for the competition. The front end of the rig cellar is designed to be large enough to house the rock sample that will be drilled through. At the top of the rig is the top drive motor, attached to the rig through elevators on either side allowing it to move freely upward and downward. A stopper will be added to the bottom of the elevator as an additional safety feature in case of drawworks failure. We will use a 2 horsepower 220 volt DC motor as the top drive. The drawwork system is operated by a 12 volt DC motor. Air is used as the drilling fluid, which provides the required cooling and hole cleaning while reducing chip hold down to allow more brittle failure and increase drilling efficiency. New to the design is the bit and bottom hole assembly we will construct. Previous teams have shown more success with a two blade cutter, so our design will be a two blade that is shortened from previous years. The design may need to have undercut added if directionality is not achieved. The bit will attach to the drill string using a coupling. The bottom hole assembly will be a non-rotating sleeve that allows the drill string to turn freely inside. The BHA will have space for a sensor within it to measure accelerations, azimuth, and inclination. The BHA will be constructed with a non-magnetic material to avoid disturbances. The total length of the bit and BHA will be no longer than 2.5 inches. To avoid rotation, the BHA will be attached to a non-rotating part of the top drive. The BHA will also contain a fiber-reinforced bending actuator that will act as a push-the-bit system. The actuator will be connected to the control system to correct trajectory using real-time depth and inclination data. Next, we will give an overview of the instrumentation and its use. The goal of our algorithm is to drill as efficiently as possible and mitigate drilling dysfunction. This is done by minimizing mechanical specific energy. An increase in MSE indicates an increase in dysfunction. As shown, there are many dysfunctions that can occur while drilling. Increasing weight on bit should give a linear response with rate of penetration. If this is not the case, dysfunction is occurring. This year, the sample will be homogeneous sandstone, so the rock strength will be known and we do not have to worry about changing lithology. But we will still monitor MSE because we can expect whirl to occur and possibly stick slip, although it would not be significant at such a small scale. Sensors will be used to detect acceleration and changes in torque. Many of the sensors from previous years will remain the same. Weight on bit will be measured by an S-beam load cell to measure tension in the hoisting system. RPM is measured using an optical tachometer. Torque will be measured using both an indirect sensor on the left and a direct sensor on the right. A change to the rig this year will be depth measure from the rig floor rather than the top of the sample. Downhole vibrations, inclination, and azimuth will all be measured from a single sensor in the BHA. The final segment of our design video will discuss the data acquisition and analytics. Instrumentation data from every sensor will be collected by an EDR, or an electronic drilling recorder, based on a National Instruments CDAC and LabVIEW system and presented in a user-friendly graphical user interface. Added to the interface this year will be inclination and azimuth. An automated predictive ROP optimization algorithm will be implemented based on real-time and historical drilling performance data. This analysis will be performed in MATLAB and LabVIEW on every control loop based on reduced order model acquired for mechanical specific energy and the weight on bit RPM versus ROP correlations. An independent algorithm will analyze real-time vibration data to detect and mitigate major bit dysfunctions. Redundancy is achieved by using several control loops within our system architecture with different loops times varying from 1 Hz to 20,000 Hz. Additionally, an algorithm will be implemented to calculate trajectory using real-time data and historical inclination data to ensure that we are drilling towards our target zone. Furthermore, a microcontroller-based schedule gain PID controller is used to control important drilling parameters such as weight on bit, RPM, and inclination, while also monitor safety triggers such as temperature, current, and torque limits. The addition this year will be a push-the-bit system that will monitor bit location and adjust inclination accordingly. We are very excited for the competition this year and to see the design ideas that are constructed. We want to thank the organizers, judges, and sponsors for their time and efforts that are put into this competition every year. Thanks and gig'em.